I think what's going to be special for the gamers playing this DLC in terms of the characters is not so much new characters, but it's seeing characters they've known before in different ways. Um, you know, we're bringing back um, almost all the major characters people knew from Infinite and, and Bioshock 1. We were able to go back to the original actors and work with them as well. Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home? Uninvited. I'm proud to play Andrew Ryan. I adore playing it because of the writing. The writing is so incredibly good, and, and the power of the character is immense. The character obviously had been so popular with the gamers that um, they wanted to see and hear more of uh, Andrew Ryan. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I played Daisy in Bioshock Infinite. I was so excited to get the call to come back to do the DLC. Just because, you know, filling out the story, filling out the character, filling in the blanks is always great. If you see Su Chong, tell him Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. I play Atlas and Fontaine. I was really excited because, you know, it was so much fun to do the first time. What was wonderful about the idea of coming back is now that I understood what the world looked like and also having seen the characters at that point and what they look like and having, you know, that sort of um, uh, backstory was wonderful. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Fucker? Fucker. Say, what? I, don't I can get him. Say, I can get you back to Rapture. I play Booker DeWitt in Bioshock Infinite. What I love about coming back and playing Booker in this is that you can take a character that you think you've got figured out and that has completely played out his story and flip it on his ear and present the same character in a completely different way. And I think that this is such a, a fresh perspective in not only who we've seen Booker be, but who Elizabeth thinks Booker is. This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made. And men who make it. I play Elizabeth in Bioshock Infinite. I'm pretty excited about it. You know, people have been asking, are you gonna be able to play Elizabeth? And people wanted to play her, and I think being able to play her in this last DLC is kind of the the end and the wrap-up for the whole Bioshock series. I think it's it's gonna be really cool, and I, I hope that people enjoy walking in her shoes and, and having that experience. Fans of both the original game and Infinite are going to walk away pretty satisfied with feeling a sense of completeness in, in the end of this that they haven't really had in a Bioshock game before.